in astrology, uh, one thing I realized is there's some signs that will put up with cheating and there's some signs don't. <laughs> so take notes, guys. Uh, I'm going to put this out there. If a woman is born in a goat year, she'll put up with cheating. She will literally put up with people cheating. And I'm going to uh, give you an example. Anna Nicole Smith. Everyone knows who that bitch is. She married a 90-year-old billionaire. And by the way, Anna Nicole Smith is born on the 28th. She did get that bag, didn't she? But the, the fact of the matter is, you know, when, when you look at these women and you look at everything they're doing, um, I, I kind of disagree with what you said. I don't think people should be cheating. But if you're going to go that route, learn numerology and astrology. First of all, if you cheat on a rooster... It doesn't matter if you're a millionaire. It doesn't matter if you're flat broke. They'll cut you. Okay? Uh, Lauren Bobbitt, uh, I think the one who cut off her dude's thingy, that was, she was born in the rooster year. But if you look at other signs like goats, again, as long as the man is providing money and giving them a, a luxury lifestyle, they'll put up with it. Mm. There's certain things people have to understand. Mm. Mm -hmm. and, and this is why I keep telling people knowledge is power. Think of all the people in this world who are putting up with garbage. You don't have to do it. You just have to put understand how to learn this knowledge and apply it. It's not just about knowing things. It's actually about applying things mm -hmm. in everyday life. You know, um, when I look at a guy like Mr. Beast, the numerology tells me he's a three life path. And three is the number of communication. Communication starts with C, three is the right letter. Zerk is a three. Mm. You know, uh, Rolo's a three. Sartain's a three. Mm. Uh, uh, a whole bunch of people out there who basically are three life paths run their freaking mouths. I mean, e even in the past, Rush Limbaugh, people know who he was. Yeah. Howard Stern and Rush Limbaugh are born on the same exact day. The two people who were supposedly the kings of all media before, you know, people like Pro took over and all this internet stuff, they were the kings of all media. They were born on the same day, the 12th, one and two is three. Mm -hmm. So when you look at stuff like that, you start understanding, okay, this is making sense why people are a certain way. But it doesn't just stop there. There is, people have to learn this stuff. I'm just telling you, I just look at all these people with all these problems and I'm like, God damn. I'm fucking smart as hell because I figured all this stuff out and I never had these problems. I mean, listen, my girl was damn near a virgin. Okay. I didn't have these problems as you guys did. I, I, I don't even, I, I've been going on trips for 10 years and I leave for a week, two weeks, do business, make money for the family. I don't ever worry that my girl is cheating on me. Ever. And she knows I'm not fucking doing anything because I'm not about that life. Mm -hmm. Some people are. You know, um, some people, like the Tates, they're tigers. Tigers live their lives like those two. They're supposed, you know, being all alpha, all masculine, mm -hmm. halfway a bodybuilder, a freaking fighter. This is what tigers do. And if you're going to be with the tiger, don't expect them to be faithful. <laughs> that, that's just the bottom line. Some signs will be faithful to the freaking end. Roosters are oh so fucking look, uh, so, so loyal. And I married a rooster partly because of it. Mm. This is the stuff people have to understand. And if you do that, life just gets so much more simpler. I have problems like everyone else, but not those type of problems. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. Because my dad escaped communist and he came here and he had a conversation with me when I was eight, nine years old. He told me, Gary, I ran away from the communists. You won't be able to run. There's nowhere else to run. He told me that in the 80s. And he was not an educated man, but he was a very, very smart man. And, you know, when my dad passed, he didn't leave me any money. We, we we were middle class to below or above at some point, but we're always moving like this. Um, but I thank him every single day. It, 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 I start thanking him once I start getting some sense because he came to this country 
He came to America. He gave me the opportunity to be in the greatest country on earth. And because I had that opportunity, I became a freaking millionaire. Mm -hmm. I would not have done this in any other country on earth. Flat out. I love this country. But this country needs to be saved. Because if, if it's not saved within the next decade, it's going to be too far gone. It's going to be too far gone, and I really don't know what to do at that point. It was like Brute says, at that point, society is going to destroy itself, and then we're going to go through that same cycle of strong men coming from tough times, and they build their kids up, and all of a sudden these kids become soft, and the whole cycle repeats, repeats. One thing I always do, I have a 10-year-old and a 4-year-old. I don't allow my boys to cry. I do not allow it. If they want to scream, if they want to get mad, cool. You know, I'll, I'll have a nice talk with them. Like, yo, chill out. Cool. But if they start crying, I get in their fucking face. Don't fucking cry. Do not cry. And I recommend every single dad out there does the same thing to your kids. Do not allow them to cry. Because, you know, if you're a woman and you cry, people are going to help you. People are going to come. They're going to feel sorry for you. They're going to want to help you. Men are going to want to help you. Women are going to want to help you. You see a man crying? <laughs> no one gives They've a done fuck. that social experiment, like a man versus a woman crying in public. They did not give a fuck. No one gives a fuck. No. And that's why I want these kids to understand. Get that soft feminism beta shit off. Just get rid of it. Because when they grow up, and you're not around anymore. You can't have them being soft. A woman will tear a soft man apart quicker than a fucking criminal. Just like you said, they will take advantage of him and they will de fucking destroy him. Um, I, my organization is GG33. I basically run a group about 3,000 people. 85% of my students are men. And I always make sure it's about around that ratio. And the reason I do that is because if you have too many women in one group, they're going to start fighting. They're going to start hating each other. Here's the thing about men. And Malik, correct me if you think I'm wrong. No person will want, a, 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 will want anything but the best for their son. If you as a father, you want your son to do better than you. You as a father, you want your son to do the stuff that you did not accomplish in life. A woman and a, her daughter, I've seen a little bit different. I've actually seen mothers be jealous of their daughters because they're better looking than they are. Yeah, It's disgusting. There, there's a ton of moms that are jealous of their daughters. That's really common. It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely disgusting. Because, because they're single. Ah. That's why they're not meant to be, like, they're supposed to have the man they want's attention. So either they're not with the man they want and they're looking or they already, or they couldn't keep him, whatever it is. And now they're, like, think about it. Um, you have a daughter at 20. Now 40-year-old and 20-year-old are in the same club. You cannot tell. That's the crazy thing. You can't, you know, you're supposed to move. One's a little more used up, though. Well, <laughs> but that's the crazy thing. Like, you used to be able to tell the difference in the way they dressed between a 40-year-old and a 20-year-old. I can't tell anymore. No, they dress exactly the same. I mean, you can you can tell them the wrinkles, you know what I mean? But, but, but they look exactly the same. It's crazy. Father time is undefeated. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely undefeated. I had a question. Mm -hmm. Why do women have this fascination with their lips, their I see a lot of women now with these thick lips. They put Botox oh, the, in their lips. Oh, that? the like filler. That? Yeah, what is that? Because I'm noticing that happening, and mostly well, with these women who have money. Remember, women were dummies. So if they Still just are. yeah, if they just market us anything, we'll buy it. So they got they marketed uh, lip filler to us, and we bought it. 
I find that I find that unattractive. I know. Why would I, I, I find breast implants unattractive. Yeah, yet that. you have a whole bunch of women who do them. Well, I mean, this is why I keep telling people, Pearl. They these red pill guys say these women are crazy. They keep saying, "Oh, yo, these bitches are out there fucking mind." I agree with them, but then they tell them to get breast implants. Then they tell them to take birth control pills. What mm -hmm. the fuck? Mm -hmm. How is that helping the situation at all? Who tells them to get breasts? I've never uh, heard there, there's quite a few red pill guys that you know oh. tell people to women to enhance themselves any way possible. I mean, hell, if you're Brazilian, they're gonna tell you to put something in your butt. Yeah, I mean, there's Kanye there... West's mom mother died. Well, I'll, Kanye, I'll say this. Kanye yeah. West's mother died because of plastic surgery. You know, I'll, I'll say this: um, there's different strategies that women use to attract different types of guys, and unfortunately. The, the guys that women we tend to go for when we're young are the rappers, the ballers, the all that. Like, it's just... The bad boys. I mean, yeah, sort of. And so because of that, you know, they're marketing for the look. And those guys typically aren't seeking long-term mates, typically. I mean, are those guys known for being family men in general? The rappers, the ball... Right. So, so what are they marketing themselves to those guys they want to get with? What in this society is the top guys, which is unfortunate. Like, we're not, you know, as women, we want what's trendy, what's cool. And that's what we see, right? Even though, let's be honest, the businessmen have way more power than any of those guys. But, you know, we're, we're, we're dummies, right? So, so because that's in the media, that's what we market ourselves for. Uh, we're about to start wrapping this up. Pearl, give us red flags that guys can look for in women. Um, that's just controversial. I think tattoos, uh, personally. Um, I think yeah, a lot of, I mean, being fat, obviously there's no discipline. Doesn't like kids. Um, you know, I went to college, but I'd say it's better to get a girl that didn't. <laughs> Not too smart. Um, and super masculine and argumentative, I'd just say. Yeah. Um, but especially like tattoos and dressing trashy, I'd say it's like the biggest stuff. Cause I mean, she's just going to embarrass you. Do you think if a woman puts on a bathing suit, that's uh, dressing trashy? Uh, Tough I one. I don't know. Um, I think the more modest the bathing suit, the better. So if she's wearing a thong. Oh God, no! Don't date the bitches with thongs. Okay, that's, there you that's go. That's bad. Yeah, I, I, that's that's where you cross the line. Yeah. Um,